So, good day, fellow coin collectors, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about granite diorite. So, uh, this is a felsic rock, and nah, just joking, I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, let's have a look at the 2021 uncirculated coin set. So, this has been out for quite a few months, but I've only recently decided to get it because I actually got some oh, i actually got those uh coins the first and last one dollar coins they haven't come yet they're going to come sometime in february uh so i decided to get this set along with it as well as some of these but i'll show these in another video uh, it's the first time i actually got those coins uh, you pick them up for three dollars so this actually is the uncirculated set i don't purchase proof sets uh, proof sets just don't interest me uh, I do buy and sell them, and when I do that, and I actually get one, I will actually show it on this channel. So, as you can see, this actually commemorates the Aboriginal flag. So, we've got red, black, yellow, just in case you're colourblind. Uh, actually, I am colourblind. And as you can see, it has some information about the actual flag. It was designed by... Uh, some guy and because the Aboriginal flag is Copyrighted and uh, this this video is actually not going to get monetized so um, Because most likely is they'll be copyright claimed by the company actually owns the rights to the flag so it's actually designed By Harold Thomas in 1971 and symbol of Aboriginal identity. Quite frankly, I reckon that the Aboriginal community should, because this is copyrighted, they've actually had a lot of problems with using this flag. So I reckon that they should actually dump this flag. And uh, another person of Aboriginal origin should actually design another one. Uh, that's just my input. And when they design it, they design it specifically that it is not, it's not under copyright, or they can actually have a United Aboriginal organisation that actually copyrights the actual flag for use by Aboriginal community, as well as uh, people who actually support them. Anyway, so let's have a look inside. And here's some more information. Uh, so this actually celebrates 50 years of the design of the flag. So that's basically what they actually issued this commemorative um, and circulated set for. And as you can see, it actually has most of uh, the coins are just a normal circulating series with the coloured two dollars. So. If we look at the five cent, looks like a large SD. So, can you see any errors on these coins? These coins shouldn't have any errors, they should have actually been checked. It's a nice 10 cent. How about a 20 cent? No, there is no gap between the platypus and the wave. So, but have a look at the. No, it looks normal. How about this 50 cent coin? No, that's nice. Any cuds on the $1? No. If we look at the actual $2, that actually looks nice. Now this coin is actually going to be issued for circulation. Close to the time when the flag was designed. Does it actually have any date on it? No. It says 2021. It says, uh, there's a collector's version of commemorative $2 coin released into circulation in 2021. So, if we actually have a look on this one, does it actually have a, like a month? No, it doesn't have a month on this one. So, I'm not too sure when uh, that we issued. So I actually went to Wikipedia and it 
maybe the 14th of July is uh, when it's actually going to be introduced because it was adopted in 1995 on the 14th of July but the 1971 date it actually doesn't have a month so I reckon around July these will be issued for circulation and Australian Aboriginal flag 2021 just has it both and upside down it has the Australian Aboriginal flag 1971 so as you can see they actually didn't use any yellow for the centre I reckon they should have put yellow but the coin colour is actually quite good as, as it is as for being the best $2 coin I don't think so uh, the 2000 the flame one 2017 i think i reckon that's the actual best coin uh but this one's actually quite nice anyway and as you can see they've moved the denomination on to the obverse side instead of it being on the reverse so will these increase in value uh because uh the two dollar coin is going to be issued for circulation i don't reckon i'll increase to like a hundred dollars like uh some of these colored uncirculated coin sets uh, it'll probably be 2 million of these coins issued in the circulation but what would actually be the deciding factor on uh, the value of this coin set is actually whether one of these coins here will be low mint now I don't think the 5 cent will be low mint uh, the 10 cent could be because some years they actually issue like a million coins uh, the 50 cent also could be low mint 20 cents pretty much never really low mint. Uh, they either issue quite a few coins or none at all. Uh, 50 cent coin, they either issue very few coins or hell of a lot. Sometimes they don't issue any, like between 1985 and 1993, which uh, they issued pretty few coins. I think 85. Uh, 88, 91, and 93 were pretty low mint. Then from 94, they actually started to pump them out again. I reckon 50 cent coins will probably be low mint for the next few years because they've actually got quite a few in circulation. And the one dollar, the one dollar could also be uh, a low mint coin. So uh, those are the three coins I reckon that you should really worry about. Uh, Two million, yeah going to be in circulation yeah everyone's going to have it yeah uh, I reckon generally what happens is that after the Royal Australian Mint stops selling these for $25 that will probably be uh, at the end of this year or maybe even next year they usually increase in price by at least $10 so you generally won't actually lose anything on these sets. It's probably like 30 or 40,000 minted. That's the general numbers So these days. But, you know, quite a nice set. Nothing like getting a beautiful uncirculated coin set for your collection. And this will... Oops. Where are my other ones? Okay, this will go with all my other sets. So, I've got quite a few. Um, so, the reason why this will increase in price is because there's actually only 30 or 40,000 of them actually minted. Uh, these ones actually didn't increase in price because it's like a hundred, I don't know, 120,000 minted. So, there's actually quite a lot of, you know, these out there even though the 5 10 20 oh most of the coins in this set were not issued for circulation so pretty low mint anyway so let me know what you think about this uncirculated coin set uh, if you want them for invest them in the future uh, for short term yeah it's probably good like three or four years 
Uh, you'll probably get at least 10 to 20 dollars extra out of it uh, for the long term uh, if we look at coin sets from 2000 yeah then they, they're probably an okay investment for the long term as well uh, because they're not producing as many as the 1986 these are not a long-term investment or a short term you actually lose money on these if you keep it for a long term so and you keep it if you're actually interested in uncirculated coin sets but this is actually part of our hobby some people collect just to collect some people collect for uh, monetary gain me personally I do both you know some things I keep for monetary gain some things I keep because I actually quite like them and this is one of them I collect because I quite like them so I'm not likely to actually make any money on this uh, but a Bengal presidency one rupee yeah awesome coin to actually get so I'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video uh, I'll leave a link down below to eBay you can still pick these up for $25 and uh, have an awesome coin and bank night collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.